I know the characteristic of the animal phyla is their, their basic body form, of what we call their symmetry, how they're built. And we have three classes of symmetry, asymmetrical, radial, and bilateral. Asymmetrical is without any real symmetry. They just grow. They're generally what we call sessile organisms. Uh, means they stay in one place. They have, they have no need for movement, and therefore no need for special body design to incorporate movement. With radial and bilateral symmetry, we have movement involved. Typically, radial, radially symmetrical organisms are relatively slow. Things like um, the medusae of jellyfish, uh, things like starfish, sand dollars, very slow moving. Uh, they do not have to be streamlined. Bilaterally symmetrical organisms, on the other hand, have to have a streamlined shape because they move fairly fast, and they tend to move in one direction. Something else that goes along with bilateral symmetry and the streamlining for moving in one direction uh, is what we call cephalization, or the formation of a head. Effectively, whatever part of the body is going to be moving into the environment first is going to have localization of special senses, vision, smell, taste, etc., in order to sense that environment as it moves into it. It's not so important to have those towards the, the tail end, of, like this little flat one that I've illustrated here. <coughs> so faster speed, moving in one direction, localization of sensory structures are all characteristic of bilateral. Now, Asymmetrical organisms, primarily, we're looking at sponges. Radial symmetry, the cnidarians. And then way on down the line, the echinoderms. But one thing you have to keep in mind, in the echinoderms, um, radial symmetry is characteristic of the adults who do move slowly. But the larvae, which swim through the plankton in the water, uh, are typically bilateral and symmetrical. And then they metamorphose or change into radially symmetrical adults. Once we get on up into things like snails, grasshoppers, earthworms, humans, etc., we're primarily dealing with bilateral symmetric symmetric symmetry. Sorry about that. I'm trying to do these lectures quickly and sometimes my tongue gets tied. Uh, the bilateral symmetry uh, allows these organisms to move rapidly uh, in the flow of whatever the medium is they're moving through. Let's quit there.